Okay, we're looking at bot sheets for ChatFuel, which adds a very powerful capability to a ChatFuel bot. It allows you to dynamically generate content using data stored in a Google Sheet. Now, let me give you a quick example. Browse products. Let's say you're in the e-commerce business and you're using a chat bot to drive a discovery of your products. Uh, you can add all of your products to a Google Sheet and then dynamically generate a gallery like this. So here I have t-shirts, tank tops, stickers, a bunch of products. And if I get to the end here, because I can only have up to 10 cards in a gallery, the 10th card is going to be a see more card if I have more than 10 products. And now you can see I've dynamically generated another gallery of products. Now, where is all this data coming from? Let's take a look at that. Here you can see I have a Google Sheet with all of my products listed out. These are going to be the title uh, of each gallery card. And uh, I also have a subtitle here. And I have a link to the image here. And I have a call to action button. Uh, so our call to action button was shop now. And if I click that button, it's going to go to a URL. And this is the target for the button. It's a, a landing page on Amazon. I can change the call to action button if I want. Maybe I want to uh, go to another chat fuel block. So uh, you just uh, put your call to action here, uh, learn more. And then you would just put the name of the chat fuel block uh, exactly as it appears uh, in ch your chat fuel dashboard. And so when users click that button in the gallery, it's going to go to a chat fuel block. And then you can do other things like redirect them to a flow. And you can also uh, set chat fill user attributes when they click those buttons. So I uh, just click set attributes and I'm going to, uh, you know, lead score. And then I set a value for that attribute. So I'll just give it a nine. Uh, these can be any of your user attributes exactly as you've created in, uh, in chat fuel. And when users click buttons, uh, you'll be able to do that uh, because you've set that up in the Google Sheet here. So it's really easy to manage content uh, from a Google Sheet. You're using Google Sheets as a database and you don't have to have any knowledge of how databases work. If you're an agency, you just need to share a link to a Google Sheet and uh, your, your clients can collaborate with you on the chatbot. They don't have to ever visit the the dashboard in ChatFuel, they just need to add content to the Google Sheet. You'll manage the content uh, from here, but you'll request the content using functions in ChatFuel. So let's look at how that works. Um, I have some flows. Let's try a real estate example. And in this example here, uh, we're going to have a number of steps that are going to request data. Uh, from me and we're going to store uh, my input into some user attributes. So uh, I'm looking for a house. What's the minimum number of bedrooms? Uh, two. What's the minimum number of bathrooms? Two. And now it's going to search and immediately I'm given a gallery of properties that match my preferences. And there's my call to action button. And all of that data is in the Google Sheet. Let's take a look at the Google Sheet just to see. So I have a properties worksheet here. And you can see here I have uh, there's the address, which is the title. And there is a subtitle. And I have some other columns with some uh, data points, like the number of bedrooms for the property or the number of bathrooms. Uh, and then I have a link. And then I have the button. And it's my call to action button. Now, there's a number of use cases for dynamic content like this. Products, properties, if you're a real estate agent, your listings are always changing. Same with a restaurant. You have a menu, you have uh, items on the menu, they're always changing, the prices are always changing, and a restaurant isn't technically savvy, uh, they shouldn't have to learn how to build a chatbot, just give them a Google Sheet and they can update their menu in the Google Sheet, and then you can set up all your logic inside of ChatFuel. So the logic is actually done through ChatFuel blocks. You can see here for that property example I just showed you, um, we have a block where we're going to set some user attributes. Uh, we're going to refer to the worksheet name. That's uh, properties because you can see here it's right at the bottom, properties. And then 
Uh, we're going to need a Botsheets key. Uh, it's going to, this is the type of search. It's a gallery. We got to refer to the Google sheet. And then we have other uh, options here. Like if you want to, the, the, the cards to have square images or horizontal images, you can set that here. You can set these values. If you want to limit the number of results, so maybe one or two uh, or, or up to 10, you just set a number here. You can add quick replies below those dynamically generated galleries. And of course, the example that we looked at uses a query. So we had, uh, you know, to, to specify uh, what type of property, was it a house or a condo? Uh, and we had some values that we collected through the flow, stored those values, and then we have this query here uh, where we're going to look at different columns. So this is column E, column F, and column G, and then it's going to get back a result. And it's going to get back a result because you're going to use a JSON API to make that request by posting to this URL. And that's pretty much it. Now you can get really fancy. This is a fancy query, or you can create some simple queries. And uh, you can use the query builder for that from Botsheets. So you just pick what column, uh, and you have different criteria. Uh, let's do a keyword search, and you can use uh, an uh, attribute, or you can use text or a number. And, uh, and then you can just click Generate and it'll give you uh, a query and you just copy that and you can paste that right in. So a uh, number of different use cases for dynamic chatbot content and Botsheets makes it really easy. You don't need to have any experience with databases. You just have to understand how a spreadsheet works and everybody understands how a spreadsheet works in business. So uh, fortunately, Botsheets provides you with a template both for Google Sheets and for chat fuel so you can get up and running in about five minutes uh, and start playing around with a lot of these examples okay hope that helps